right now in hexadecimal in hexadecimal we have got how many digits 16 that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so what is the single largest digit of hexadecimal number system that is 15 what is the single largest hexadecimal digit that is 15 how many bits do we need to save this 15 we need four bits one two four eight how many bits two to power four that is 16 means the smallest number would be zero and the largest number would be 15 so if i put all ones this will be 15 so all we need is to actually uh, convert a single largest hexadecimal digit is four bits so it means that any 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 other digit which is smaller than 15 will be saved in four bits will be saved in four bits so any other digit before 15 since 15 is the largest digit and it requires four bits to be saved any digit before 15 to 0 will also be saved will also be get saved in four bits or or actually what i'm trying to say that a byte can hold two hexadecimal digits so we have got one hexadecimal digit and another hexadecimal digit so one byte accommodates two hexadecimal digit and we cannot save less than a byte so for hexadecimal digits um, you have to have two hexadecimal digits in a byte so what does it mean let's find out first of all you need to understand that all those conversions to here over here is sare conversions you have made these are actually binary numbers for their respective denary numbers all right now this also tells that all these conversions are actually can be converted to their respective hexadecimal numbers as well okay to their respective hexadecimal numbers as well so before we start converting somewhere you need to write that this is 10 this is 11 this is 12 this is 13 this is 14 and this is 15 All right, so this is 15. Oh. 
ओके सो एफ इज फिफ्टीन ई इज फोर्टीन एफ इज फिफ्टीन नाउ लेट्स टेक फर्स्ट दिस these four bits so this is hex 0 this is hex 15 then take this all right so this is 3 how do we come up with 3 because this is unit 2 4 8 this is unit 2 4 and 8 Unit two, four, and eight. So let's do it separately. One, two, four, and eight. One, two, four, and eight. These are two bytes. So the number that we had. There were fifteen in denary. Then we had sixty-three. Then we had uh, seven. Then we had one twenty-seven. And then we had ten. And then we had twenty. So, if we take it in binary form. Fifteen would be this. Sixty-three would be this. Seven would be this. One twenty-seven will be this. Ten will be this. And twenty will be this. Now let's find out how do we know that these are ten and twenties and all because we were doing it earlier and when we treat it like binary, we treat it like the whole byte is having continuous words. but when we treat it with hexadecimal we actually break this into two and we treat them like 1 2 4 8 and 1 2 4 8 two separate hexadecimal digits all right two separate hexadecimal digits so this is 1 2 4 8 0 This is zero. This is fifteen. How do we know this is zero and fifteen? In in hexadecimal digits, numbers from zero to nine are same as in binary number system. But afterwards, we have this ten. This is eleven. This is twelve. This is thirteen. This is fourteen, and this is. Fifteen. Okay, so A is ten. B is eleven. C is twelve. D is thirteen. E is fourteen. And F is what? Fifteen. Okay. Now this one is three. This one is fifteen. This one is zero, and this one is seven. This one is seven, and this one is fifteen. This one is zero, and this one is eight and two ten. This one is one, and this one is four. All right. So, what does it mean that when we look at fifteen, this would be F? We don't have to write leading zeros. So sixty-three is three F. Seven is seven. One twenty is seven F. 
10 is a and 20 is 1 and 4 don't call it 14 this is it's still it's still it is 20 but since the shape is changed it is seen like this so get the idea what is actually we are doing now is simple 